On this episode of the Globe Sports Corner, Goshen College intramurals are underway with a strong start to their season. The GC Athletic Department has turned the focus on to mental health and a look at the Maple Leaf highlight of the week. All that and more coming up on this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. From the Globe Studios on the campus of Goshen College, this is the Globe Sports Corner and I'm your host, Amelia Lee. Before we get into the details this week, we at Globe Sports want to congratulate the Goshen College men's volleyball team on their finish to their season, in which they won a program high games of 20 games. The Globe wishes you all the best in the offseason. Now let's turn to Tyson Miller and Seth Smith Kaufman, who slipped on their gym shoes and spoke with the intramural athletes on campus about staying active during the winter months. Intramural sports are a staple of any college campus, but one feature of a small college is that the student athletes play right alongside the rest of the students. We sat down with some of the participants of this intramural futsal game to talk about how playing alongside each other helps the community and helps improve everyone's physical and mental health. For many college students, intramurals offer a chance to get exercise they normally might not get. It's so hard to get a group, a big group of people together to like do these team sports normally, and so like if there weren't intramurals, I'm just gonna have to be like running around outside. That's boring as heck. So it's really nice to be able to have like something organized that a lot of people can all participate in. For student athletes, intramurals are a chance to get back into sports they love and stay active in a different way. I just play intramurals because I really like sports and playing lots of different sports, um, and it's a really good opportunity out that's a lot less intense than a varsity sport and I played soccer throughout my life so I really enjoy the opportunity to play soccer and intramurals just to reconnect with that. Yeah it's definitely not for the exercise I get plenty of exercise. On a larger scale intramurals offer a unique chance to bring people together and bridge the gap sometimes found between non-athletes and athletes. I think it's cool because I think you know athletes and regular students I feel like it's a gap it's a disconnect so I feel like intramurals is a good way to kind of unify the campus as a whole. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Tyson Miller. It's great to see athletes and non-student athletes staying fit and staying connected in the offseason. One season that's in full swing right now is baseball, and Goshen College has been braving tough Midwest weather conditions in order to get the season off to a good start. One of GC Baseball's top hitters is Jenna Rodimer, who joins us to discuss his season so far, next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Joining us today is Jenner Rodimer, a sophomore center fielder for the Goshen College baseball team. Jenner, thank you for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm really good. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be on the show. I'm excited to have you too. Let's start by talking about your individual performance so far this year. You're batting 375, which leads you in the team. What mm. do you credit the most of your success to? Um, honestly, I would just say preparation. I know that sounds somewhat like a a cheesy answer but um, you know last year I really didn't perform the way I wanted to and so I've been looking forward to my sophomore season pretty much ever since so I've been taking the this offseason really seriously the fall and um, yeah and now it's um, I'm happy to see it paying off my hard work and um, also I would just say learning from my failures you know because in this sport um, there's a lot of them and so being willing to learn and adjust and adapt even in the middle of a, a game, you know, analyzing each at bat and things like that. Yeah, for sure. And just, you know, improving from what happened exactly. in the past. Exactly. Exactly. It's a great mindset. Mm -hmm. What's an individual goal that you want to hit by the end of your season? Um, that's a good question. Initially, I wanted to break the steals record here at the college. Um, as I've seen my batting average go up, really, and had success in other areas, I haven't been too concerned about it. So right now, it's... Um, not looking too good, but um, hopefully I can still get on track with that. But um, I'd like to continue to lead the team in, in batting average and, and uh, do well at the plate. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And how difficult was it as a sophomore to reach the spot that you're in now, considering COVID-19 mm -hmm. and the effect that had on last season? Um, actually, I would kind of say that it's been easier. You know, 
with our season getting <clears throat> excuse me, cut short last year and um, really just not performing as a team the way we wanted to, I would say it really propelled me, um, gave me a lot of motivation to just work as hard as I could in the offseason and the fall um, in order to show up this season. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then speaking on the season in general, how hard is it to manage the constant schedule changes that come mm -hmm. from weather cancellations? Yeah, you know, I'd say that's just a part of being a college athlete, and that's been really difficult to adjust to, especially during my freshman year and now with a heavier course load and things like that. But um, it's not easy being a college athlete, you know, to manage both a school um, schedule on top of full-time baseball. Um, it's very difficult, but you know, you got to just um, adapt and c sort of go with the flow, which you get used to, and it gets easier. So. For sure, and I see you doing your homework all the time. Yeah. You're a very studious student. <laughs> yeah. so. I try, I try. <laughs> You're definitely on the right path. Yeah, thank you. How did it feel <clears throat> to get that first conference win of the season against Grace College? Um, it felt great. We were um, ecstatic about it. You know, it was our first conference series, and we got our first win. But... Um, it was a little bit hard to celebrate considering we we should have won a few more. We sort of dropped a few significant leads to them and ended up losing. But, um, you know, it still felt great to get the first conference win. And, um, yeah, we're just hoping to continue to do so. Doubleheader action at Taylor University is up next. What changes need to be made to get back on track and pick up another conference win? Um, yeah, I would say primarily just our mentality and our mindset going into the series, you know, after losing a couple frustrating ones to Grace and losing an extra innings to Marion, it's been um, pretty hard on us, easy to get down um, mentally and not be prepared to go at it and battle another one out. But I would say that would be the most important thing for us is just to go in and expect to win and then perform. Yeah, for sure. And thank you so much for joining us today, yeah, Jenner. It was absolutely. a pleasure having you. Yeah, thank you. Coming up, our sports crew highlights mental health among athletes and what the GC Athletic Department is doing to ensure wellness on campus. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. I came to Goshen thinking that I'd just be acting, but over the course of my four years, I've taken part in all the other facets of the theater, and I think that's helped me gain a wider appreciation for theater as a whole. I mean, it takes all those things that I'm interested in, like the design aspects of theater, the environmental studies course I took, and it takes my music major, and it just focuses it all into theater. Mental health among athletes is a serious issue. With the heavy workload of academics on top of practice, games, and workouts, student athletes can be among the most susceptible to mental struggles. With this in mind, the Goshen College Athletic Department met with all rostered student athletes this past Monday to discuss this heavy topic. On Monday, March 28th, the Goshen College Athletic Department gathered more than 250 rostered Goshen College student athletes to discuss a difficult topic, mental health and athletics. Really to focus on mental health, there's about a lot been going on with mental health from uh, anxiety, depression, all of that. And so the NAIA has put out some different resources and PowerPoints. Uh, and so I really just wanted a time with our student athletes at Goshen to be able to share with them what our resources are on campus and just to start the conversation surrounding mental health and mental health illnesses. Resources available to student athletes includes individual and group counseling sessions, as well as referrals and diagnoses. From the eyes of a student athlete, the meeting went well, and the majority of the attendees believe that Goshen College does a good job of providing for athlete wellness and mental health. GC does a great job, and the coaches do a great job of taking care of their players, and they take care of their athletes, and they make sure that they prioritize their mental health as much as their physical health, and if they don't, they make sure to fix that issue so that it doesn't happen again. The Goshen College Athletic Department is looking to make meetings and seminars like this one a more common occurrence. I know that we're at the end of the semester here, but hopefully in the future, like every month, we'll be able to have a different topic. And we just started with mental health today since it's such a big topic. If you or someone that you know is having a mental health emergency, contact the on-campus Student Life Administrator at 574-535-6273. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is Dante Stanton. Coming up, we'll tackle the Maple Leaf athletic schedule, take a look at what games you can catch on 91 Won the Globe, and wrap things up by checking out our Globe highlight of the week. This is the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. 
It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals to get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's take a look now at your Maple Leaf athletic schedule for the coming week. The baseball team hits the road tomorrow and takes on Taylor University with a doubleheader clash against the Trojans at noon. And to wrap up Saturday's slate of games, the GC softball team will be heading to Fort Wayne to face off against the St. Francis Cougars in a doubleheader. Looking ahead to Monday, baseball is back at it again with another doubleheader against Mount Vernon Nazarene University at 2 o'clock. On Tuesday, softball is going head-to-head -head with Bethel at home in a battle for the U.S. 20 Highway Cup in doubleheader action. Catch the game live on 91.1 The Globe. Softball will be right back at it against Mount Vernon Nazarene University on Wednesday in Ohio. And finishing out the week, baseball will face off with the Bethel Pilots on Thursday and on Friday, while the men's and women's track teams will head down to Indiana Tech for the second outdoor meet of the season. And now we turn to the Maple Leaf highlight of the week. This grand slam of a highlight takes us back to the Goshen College softball team's home opener against Cleary University. Dante Stanton provides the commentary. Olivia Gibson stepping up to the plate now for Goshen College. Bases are loaded here in the bottom of the first. Pitch is away. Oh boy, she got all of it. Down to the left side. That's a grand Whoa. slam. That one is gone and out of here. Great job by Olivia Gibson of staying in on that inside pitch. She got her hands around on it and drove it down the left field line. You'd love to see it. The Maple Leafs take the lead in the bottom of the first. Her very first career home run. An excellent play there by Gibson. Could not have come at a better time. For That's it for this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Make sure you don't miss a single thing at the Globe by following our social media at 911 The Globe on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also head over to globeradio.org for more exclusive content. This has been the Globe Sports Corner. Until next time, I'm Amelia Lee.